What's up feeders, I'm Tex from Can You Print It and today we start something new, the Versus series. This series will allow us to test products linked to the 3D printing, give you our feedback and tell you if it's worth buying or not. So at the end of this video, this product will be worth it or full shit. Today I want to try a 3D filament from the brand Amazon Basics. You see, I was scrolling on Amazon looking for something useless and therefore necessary to waste money on, when suddenly they advised me to purchase filament from the brand Amazon Basic. I was like, what the? They even have their own 3D filament brand? How did I miss that? I want to try it. I look at the price, it's average. But I noticed the comments were very contrary. Some people are happy, others hate it. It's going to be pretty difficult for someone starting 3D printing to know what this product really has to offer. So I told myself, you know what? This is an excellent video subject. You guessed it, this is the one you are watching right now. I proceed to check out and I just have to wait for my delivery. Two days later. Okay, I just received it, I open it and already there is something wrong. The spool is on a regular plastic bag, not a vacuum bag. It might not seem like it, but it really sucks. Oh wow, look at him complaining about the stupid plastic bag. You're going to throw it immediately anyway. Nobody cares. Wrong. I have paid this pool 20 bucks. It's not one of the cheapest. For example, if you take this essence pool, we paid $15. It's in the most beautiful cardboard box of superbly shitty quality. Still, there is one at least, and it's in a vacuum bag. The real problem here is that filament that is not stored in airtight bag age faster and become brittle. There are many problems linked to hygrometry that will play a crucial role in the spool lifetime. So let's say I only use this spool in 6 months from now. I will probably have all kind of trouble, like the filament will break when it's put into the feeders, and I might lose a lot of prints this way. Alright, let's forget the bag for a while and test this filament with our classic PLA profile. I think we should start by using a test model to evaluate this properly. This test model can give us a lot of feedback on product quality and eventual defects. Let's check it out. The filament started drooping on an angle of 40 degrees, which is alright. Also, all the holes and shapes in the middle of the piece are clean. All the bridges look a bit ugly with filaments hanging from it. However, it's a recurring problem with every bridge. And you can see that the printer managed to finish all the bridges, and they are pretty strong too. I think if you need to do a bridge over an empty space, you can just slow down the printing speed to limit the defects. In the end, it's a test with good result. I should make something else to test it out. I chose something I might use myself. A tabletop landscape. It was suggested by one of you guys, so don't hesitate to write your own ideas for our next prints in the comment below. And I had to cancel some part of the print because of the conception and assembling troubles with the 3D model. It didn't seem optimized for 3D printing and has a lot of weird anomalies that were not the filament fault. However, the filament does have trouble sticking to the printing bed. I think it's going to be hard to make a long or tall print that won't come off the bed if you don't have a printer with a heating bed. I have one and yet it failed me three times, once per print. So I really rested some materials for nothing here. Don't be shy on the glue with that one. Or use blue tape, maybe. 
The good news is that most of the small detail came out well, which is another good point for this product. Now that we have tried a piece with tiny details, let's print something massive. I won't tell you what it is, it's the subject of a future video. Maybe some of you guys can figure out what it is. If you do know, tell me in the comment below, I would be super impressed. Nice, everything seems okay, but let's push it even more and use something called a Voronoi. It's a free model that I found really neat. It seems full of hard spaces to print. I'm really curious to see if this print will reach the end. Excusez-moi, but let me briefly instruct you further on this matter. In mathematics, a Voronoi diagram is the partition of a plane into groups of finite points called a seed. A 3D shape made with this diagram can be very complex and includes an infinity of variants, n'est-ce pas? Yeah, just as he said, but let's start the time lapse, it will be more visual. It took more than 18 hours to print and I'm so happy that the PLA Amazon allowed me to print this piece who is super complex. It's really a good point for this filament. Alright guys, it's now time to conclude this test. Let's start with the price, around $22 and it's not too expensive for a kilogram of PLA filament of 3mm. You can't find cheaper spools but you have to look out for sales and can have bad surprises. Here it's always available and it can even be shipped in 48 hours without moving from your home. I know not everyone has Amazon Prime, but it's still pretty handy. In terms of quality, it's average and easy to use. It's not amazing and probably won't meet all of your expectations. Still, I think that with the proper parameters, you can quickly obtain good results. The only problem I had was a weak grip on the print bed. The last thing is the packaging with the spool being poorly wrapped, but maybe I was unlucky with that one. It can happen. In the end, I give it 3 stars. The PLA Amazon Basics is worth it. You have what you paid for, an entry level filament that does its job well, as long as you make simple prints and you make sure the 3D print will stick to the bed. I think I have worked every side of this product now. I used the rest of the spool without any other issues. Anyway, I hope this first Versus video has helped you figure things out about the PLA Amazon Basics. Don't forget to tell me in the comments below the next product you would like to see us try. If you enjoyed this test, please leave us a like and if you want more, subscribe and kick that bell icon. Alright feeders, see you next print. All the bridges, all the bridges look a bit ugly. All the bridges, all the bridges. <laughs> J'ai l'impression de bugger. J'ai des descentes des messes. Ah, ok, on recommence. You have what you paid for, an entry level filament that's job. That job is the. Anyway, I hope this first Versus video help. Versus. Anyway, I hope this first Versus video. Mais putain, mais rigole pas! Ah, terrible.